Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching Crypto Hamster Channel. Blood, blood is all that we see these days in crypto market space. Well, the news background is somewhat between neutral to positive. The price of the first cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, continued to go down from the previous promising rally. Uh, well, at least we see the signs of that. It may retest the sub 6k region again. And hell knows what will happen next. Will the, it will drop more or have a break and see some strength? Uh, the situation with altcoins is even worse. Bitcoin dominance rose about 50%, above 50%, like 54 at the moment I'm making this video, um, while the total market capitalization was only falling. So most of the alts, if not all of them, are in a huge loss as people get scared, frustrated and disappointed and it's nearly a panic now. Uh, my stand standpoint though uh, didn't change. Um, yes, we may fall whatever deep, but eventually the next rise will be higher than the uh, previous one. So I'm not concerned about Bitcoin whatsoever and even considering the altcoins, the project with the intrinsic value with, uh, will survive and thrive eventually. And in that sense, the situation in which we are now, it's actually good because it will help to shake out those um, shade projects and uh, coins that have nothing val valuable behind them. And I'm continuing to share with you guys my look on those altcoins that deserve to be noticed. Today I would like to talk about a project Nebulous, ticker NAS, NAS. It is not new, it was um, I was observing it for a while and must say that it has one of the most promising potential among the others in my opinion. I'm afraid that in order to make a proper comprehensive review of Nebulous, one would need a few hours probably or more, like I don't know how many, how much time do you need. So anyway, so to keep it short and simple, I will touch on the major points and also those issues which I think <clears throat> were not highlighted before. Uh, so what is Nebulous? Often Nebulous is called Google of blockchains and with all the appeal of such a name, um, such a label, it is in my opinion does not reflect the size and scale of Nebulous at all. So first, Nebulous is a blockchain, a blockchain which is supposed to be um, or, or to serve for a self-developing ecosystem. Just a side note here, the uh, TPS is declared to be like 2000, which is not bad at all and the main net was successfully launched recently. So it is run now on their own blockchain. Um, what they aim to is they want to lead in the niche of general like infrastructure service of their blockchains and of other blockchains and dApps, decentralized applications. Uh, here is the crucial point that together with the fact whether the team is competent uh, enough to implement the concept into a working uh, product would make one thing that Nebulous is gigantically huge in future or will go next to nothing. The developers believe that in future the blockchain technology will be highly used in many areas, so there will be a remarkable need for the infrastructure around it. As they mention in their white paper, uh, the number of blockchain users and digital asset holders is expected to rise from 2 and 20 million in 2013 uh, in 2017 to 200 million and 2 billion in 2020 2025 respectively. Uh, and that is their bet basically. They propose several aspects of the infrastructure for the blockchain tech which will be required for the emerging uh, development. Um, first, they say for the blockchain's platforms, uh, currently there is no general uh, like measurement of the value like there must be a criteria that could allow to estimate um, an intrinsic value of a particular blockchain for users, business, etc. Second, at the moment blockchain protocols are immutable, otherwise such thing as a hard fork uh, has to be implemented, which is usually splitting the community, increases usability, etc. So Nebulous proposed the way of upgrading the blockchain uh, in its application avoiding hard forks by using a self-evolving algorithm. Algorithms. Finally, 
the third aspect is a sort of a global structuring um, of the existing, bl existing blockchain uh, decentralized applications with the capacity of the search for the dApps and also the incentivizing the developers to participate in the production of more dApps with a sound quality. As you see, all these three aspects, oh, I, I need to mention though that, of course, the search for the, the, for the dApps will work and will be necessarily, uh, ne necessary uh, only when there will be a huge amount of dApps on the market, like comparable, for example, with the number of applications in the App Store at the moment. But since they believe, the Nebulous uh, developers believe that uh, the blockchain technologies will um, develop further and, uh, further and further, probably the number of dApps will rise as well. So, all these three aspects are aimed for solving the problems that particularly exist now, but will be uh, of a much more dramatic impact in the future. In the case of the blockchain industry, will be de develop more. Um, so a lot of the details of the way of realizing those principles are presented in Nebulous, and it is um, really will take the enormous amount of time uh, to cover them to a, magnif a meaningful ex extent. And um, I must say that. In their technical white paper, they described that concept pretty well. I personally felt that they addressed the research part very carefully, like um, there is a uh, description of the nebulous rank, the concept allowing to evaluate the blockchain value by liquidity, uh, propagation, and interoperability. And very recently, they published a yellow paper where they described that to a pretty deep technical level, providing a decent proof of their competence and the progress in their work being done. Uh, and the same is expected for other parts of their ecosystem, like Nebulous Force, as they call it, a concept describing the evolving capability of blockchain systems and applications. Uh, it consists of three elements, Nebulous Virtual Machine, allowing the protocol code, and um, the smart contracts code to be uh, compiled into bytecode, upgrade the protocol code and blockchain systems, and um, upgrade the corresponding smart, smart contracts. Uh, for the third pillar, incentive mechanisms for the DS developers, Nebulous suggested a developer's incentive protocol, rewarding developers with NAS tokens, tokens and they even have the rewards for uh, bookkeepers. And also they proposed a proof of devotion consensus algorithm, which also stands out from the currently used proof of work, proof of stake, and others. Again, uh, don't want to go too um, deeply into technical de details to keep this short and simple, but the main point that I wanted to highlight is that Nebulous, being an extremely ambitious project, aimed for the integration and interconnection of all the blockchains, building the key infrastructure elements for the future blockchainized world. And in that sense, uh, being for their uh, betting, betting for their success is to some extent the same as betting for the blockchain industry itself. As soon as it will evolve significantly in the future, Nebulous will be in a high demand. Now a few words to add about the team. The leader of the team is a founder of NEO and uh, the former director of Ant Financial's blockchain platform, which is Alibaba's financial arm and part of Google Search um, and anti-fraud team. Uh, he actually has much longer and rather, rather impressive work, work record, I will not put it here, um, as well as nearly all of the team members of Nebulous. Please check out their web official website and you will see what I mean. So the impression, not, not only the, the main team, but also the advisors, right? Uh, so the impression from the team, um, at least in my opinion, just great. And there are um, all the chances that their competence is enough to realize such a long-term and complicated project. What I also would like to mention that he, there is a global uh, public chain technology evaluation index provided by China Center for Information Industry Development, which is basically their ranking of the existing blockchain systems. Leaving apart the others, it is interesting that um, in the first report, which was I think in May, maybe there was no nebulous at the first report, but in June they at least appeared already on the sixth place. Sixth place. 
and the recent report placed them on the third position just after EOS and um, Ethereum. I think it must mean at least something such such ranking. Um, the NAS token, what token was for a long time traded on the exchanges that are not allowed for United States citizens but recently it got listed on Binance so they could have as much um, of a volume, trading volume as needed eventually. Um, now I don't want to say that everybody must, must buy NAS. None of this is a financial advice as you know and you must take your investment decision on your own so please do your own research um, especially of course at the moment uh, everything is dying in crypto well not dying like drying out I mean there's probably no altcoins that outperforming Bitcoin now but uh, well most of them are just continuing to falling right but first there must be a bottom somewhere and second, the main reason of why I'm talking about Nebulous is to increase just to increase the awareness of people about it to show nearly really good projects, uh, in my opinion. And Nebulous is one of them without any doubt. So please check their website, Telegram group, a very friendly and reasonable community is there, by the way. Um, read their white paper uh, and uh, yellow paper and those other color paper papers which will appear eventually. Um, so and, and so on and so forth um, with that um, don't want to keep you too long here please consider to subscribe if you uh, didn't yet and if you like the content and I see you soon in the next videos bye guys